the video sorry for the delay um so you head to world bank world bank's website um, where you can get your data is the data bank so data bank dot world bank dot org that's where you get all your data from from the world bank so we want something that has to do with um indicate as an indicator of um development in the economy right um, so we come to indicators here we go down uh, we will see a number of them inflation and all of that we want a lot more than this um, so we click on view indicators so it opens this um, um, area right here um, so this area has database country um, and then other things below it it has series and then time right um, so we are going to select the things we need for the, the database uh, we don't select anything over there but a country we select the countries that we need and here we are selecting 30 um, um sub-saharan african country uh, countries so you have to come here and then so countries is already open you have to take all of the um, countries that you need so you have to look up the list somewhere i think world bank also has that information so just google um, sub-saharan african countries world bank list there are about 46 of them so you can i think to be on the safer side just select all the 46 of them um because some countries have missing data right so assuming chad is um, one of them so i just take this i take cameroon you notice that all the, the these countries here are the, are the list of all the countries in the world right so you have to select only the sub-saharan african countries so once i'm done with the um, the, the countries i just leave it come down here to series series here i'm going to select the type of data or the type of indicator that i want for the countries right so i'm going to screw up i've opened it i'm going to screw up a bit so there are a lot of them right i'm going to search for the ones i need so the first one um, is gdp per capita and you so i'm, I'm doing, just going to show um demonstration for gdp per capita and then you look you do the rest so right so we have gdp per capita uh, GDP per capita right so uh, I can just hit enter or click on this um, search button right here okay so it opens um, these things for me that has a lot of things about GDP right um, but I'm interested in something that says GDP per capita constant right that's my real GDP per capita so I'm gonna screw up all the screw up uh, screw down sorry till I get to G right so the letter G. So I have GDP per capita. Um, this is PPP. I'm not interested in that one. Um, so let me see GDP per capita cons. Um, this is current. We are we want the constant, right? So let me look for GDP per capita constant. So GDP per capita constant 2010 US dollars. So I'm gonna take this right here, right? Um, so I'm taking this, and then once i take this it selects it says that what i've selected one series here right and then i can go on and then clean this so clean this gd per capita in the search box and then type maybe inflation right so i'm just doing a second demonstration and now leave the rest for you so inflation right so inflation inflation um yeah we have um a lot of information about inflation right um, we have inflation, consumer prices, inflation, GDP, depletion, but here we we will use the CPI, right? So that's the um, uh, um, consumer prices, right? So I'll just select this. So it adds up to the um, series that I already have, right? Um, then you keep selecting till you get, um, you exhaust the list. And now uh, you come down here to the time. The time here shows you like, um, gives you the time frame it helps you to select the time frame right so i'm just going to click on this 60 it said available 60 times right so 60 different years so i just click on this 60 um it opens up this for me i just select all the years that i need so i need from 20 to 2018 all the way down to whichever year you want so just keep keep ticking and ticking till you are done right once you are done you come to the right side here 
and then you apply your changes so once you apply your changes it just gives you your data set over here right um, so I'm gonna download this I go to my right side I click on this and then I choose Excel because I'm gonna work in Excel so I just click it and then it downloads and I save this um, so once I save it then I can open it and then start doing my you know my analysis and what I view in the Excel All right so yeah that's that's just about getting the data right so there my data is and then you might need to do a bit of cleanup um to get a data into the form that you can really use for your analysis i mean you might have to transpose and all that but i i will leave that up to you yeah